welcome to my channel my name is Abdullah Al Kamal and today I'm gonna be showing you how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel uh, so the best way to uh, to show you is to work on an example so uh, we have this table here uh, which is basically um, a table you know part of a contracts table so uh, you have the employee name we have the grade and we have the date of hire um, and what we are interesting uh, to add to this table is a column that shows the basic salary okay um, for each grade we know that uh, there is a basic salary I mean this is how most companies work and uh, we already have that table here so for each grade in this table the contracts table we have a uh, sort of a master table that shows the grade and uh, the basic salary for that grade okay and what we want to do now is to write a formula here that takes the grade and go here to this table and try to find it and once it finds it it brings you the basic salary for that grade and this is where the VLOOKUP functions comes in so the first thing we do is to uh, go to the home tab and format your range as a table okay and make sure my table has headers selected because we do have headers in our table and now uh, we go ahead and uh, name this table something meaningful so uh, TBL contracts Right. and we go to uh, the other table here and we do the same home tab format as table make sure my table has header selected and we give this table a meaningful name TBL um, let's say uh, salary all right okay so now let's add our new column which is uh, basic salary And you can see, uh, because we formatted uh, our range as a table, um, once we write basic salary and we hit enter, uh, the column will be added automatically to the table. And this is really useful um, feature. And when you add rows at the bottom of the table here, you know, you, you don't have to drag the formula to the new row. The formula will actually um, be inherited by the new row automatically and the table will expand to contain the new row. All right, so now let's write our VLOOKUP function and see what it's asked us to do. So once you start writing, you get the description here. Okay. You hit tab and it's asking you for the uh, lookup value. So the, our lookup value is the grade in the same row that we are writing the formula in and you see how it identified um, the cell not as C3 but uh, at grade which means the at here um, represents that this is uh, you are working on the same row and the grade is the column name and then where do you want the lookup value to be um, you know uh, searched so it's asking you for the table array so this is where you go to the other one and you select and note how when we select the table here it will always show you the range as long as you didn't select the whole table once you select the whole table it will actually give you the table name and this is very useful because when you add new grades later on what will happen is it will be included automatically in the formula in the uh, lookup formula so you don't have to go in the formula and adjust the range again so we have the table name here and now we need to define the column index so we found the grade that we're looking for so what data where is the data that you want to bring back in which column and it's asking you for an index number which is the number of the column in this table this is column one and this is column two so simply write two here 
and move to the next step, which is asking you for the um, for the match. Is it an exact match or approximate match? If the lookup value is a number, you can use approximate match. But since our lookup uh, value is actually a text, which is grade A B C D, we use an exact match. And now we close the formula and we hit enter. And you can see immediately that the salary is transferred to this table based on the grade in this column. Okay? And this is how the uh, VLOOKUP function works. I hope yeah, you find this useful. If you do, please subscribe and come back again here for things like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching.